Hello everybody and welcome to Cold Space Program. Today we're going to be doing this tutorial on the Satellite Mark II. Now I know this is very similar to the previous tutorial I did, but this is just kind of like a different design that I've uh, kind of did. So sorry if it, you don't really want to see this, like I know it's kind of lame doing the same thing again, but I'm still thinking on different ships and different designs to do more tutorials of. So you're going to take the command port mark 1 and you're going to put these Gigantor XL solar array on there. And you're going to put two of those and you're going to put them on the side. You go back in science and then you go communitron. These again, you're going to put two on them this time. So it looks a bit like that. And then you go into structural. No, no it's control. And you're going to put an SAS module on the bottom. And you're going to go into structural and then you're going to go the static coupler. Now you're going to put a FLT uh, 400 fuel tank, and you're going to take the LV909 liquid fuel engine. Then you're going to structural the stack decoupler again, and then in propulsion you're going to go on the second page and you take the big jumbo fuel engine. And then you're going to go back into the first page and you take a Rocket Max X232 fuel tank, and you stick that on the bomb. And then you're going to take a Rocket Max main sail liquid engine. And put that on the bottom. I could just try and zoom out. There we go. And now you're going to go into structural and you're going to take these strut connectors. And you're going to do a, a quadruple um, symmetry mode. And you're going to connect this top bit to the lower bit. And you're going to take the, the orange to the, the white. And it looks like it didn't do anything, but it does. It keeps these two engines together without them rolling. So now you're gonna line up your your events. So first you're gonna have the bottom engine, then you're gonna have this decoupler here, then you're gonna have that engine, and then you're gonna have this decoupler, and then you're gonna have the parachute. Again, the parachute is only for emergencies in case the takeoff fails. So we're gonna launch this bad boy. It does exactly the same thing as Satellite Mark 1, it just looks nicer. So you're gonna go full power, and you're gonna put the SAS module on. And uh, just like last time, you're going to do pretty much the same thing. Um, although this rocket looks different, and also it's it overheats. That's what I was going about to say. And it just gave me a hint. So now, also what I didn't say in the last tutorial is that until you get to the darker blue of the atmosphere, try to limit yourself to 150 meters per second, because the atmosphere will push against you and it's going to just be a waste of fuel so try to only go about 150 meters per second until you get into the darker blue of the atmosphere because otherwise you're just wasting fuel and it's you know you don't want to waste fuel and this big tank has a lot of fuel so it will get you pretty much to space um, almost immediately well not immediately what am I saying indefinitely it will because it has a lot of fuel. So see we're kind of coming out of the first stage of the atmosphere so we can go full throttle again to get maximum speed. Now as you can see here again 10 kilometers throttle down SES, oops, no, SES module off and turn to 90. Here you go. I overshot that as always. Once you are on about 90 turn the SES module on again so you go at this degree angle um, what's that, it's like a 45 degree angle into space now you can go back into what was that noise um, back into full throttle and you're going to try and go pretty much as fast as you can go and try not to have this to overheat because if it does it will explode and it will not be very nice for Jebedi coming So once you're out of the first part of atmosphere, just go as fast as you can. Um, I mean, it's just because, you know, it's fun. And then you don't have to wait for ages. So it doesn't really matter that's going to overheat now because it's going to run out of fuel anyway. So no fuel means no explosion. There you go, it runs out of fuel and it just goes away. So here we go. It goes second thingy, rocket. And now, as you see, because we're in space, we're going to 
cut the power. Now I'm going to show you a different way of making an orbit, so that's why I'm also making this tutorial, because um, the last one was uh, a manual orbit, and this one's going to be by uh, a module, no not module, sorry, a maneuver. So you're going to go to your apoapsis, that's, I couldn't say that last time, I can now, the apoapsis, you're going to add maneuver, and then you're going to drag it to the right till you get an orbit. Now this is to make a precise orbit. As you saw, could, uh, as you saw last time, it was like an imprecise orbit, mainly just because this kind of happens when you have a, uh, a manually made orbit, and also because um, I kind of like it like that. So now you're going to turn your SAS module off, and you're going to move your thing to this blue dot here, and then you can turn your SAS module back on. So that says node in t9 minutes so you're just going to speed up time to it so till about one minute or 30 seconds as i usually like to do so oh crap okay let me see that where am i here yeah, so we should burn now so now you just go full throttle um, for however long it tells you to do and as you can see it should be turning your blue orbit to approximately this orange orbit that it shows. So you're just going to full throttle for however long it tells you to do it for you know, about 30 seconds and you can always just kind of keep this up here so you can see how's it going, see how's it going, see how it's going and also see how long you're going. Now a good hotkey when this uh, timer runs out is X, it cuts all the power, um, so makes it nice and quick. So now we've got it about now, so we're going to hit X and it cuts all the throttle. And there you go. Now I keep this on, I don't decouple it yet because it still has uh, fuel, so if you still want to go back into uh, Kerbin you can still you know, just turn up turn upside down however you want to do it so now what you're going to do is what I usually like to do is to get it at about here make sure the SAS module is on so it keeps it at that level then you're going to go the solar rays you're going to extend panels I'm being called in Skype that's not very good for this tutorial so then you're going to do this you're going to just toggle these sorry guys I will fix that in a second in a second well that was annoying, I just got called in the middle of a tutorial, it's very unprofessional. So here, as you can see, here is our uh, solar panel and our um, thingy dishes. Satellite dishes, <laughs> sorry. Um, so that's how you make the Satellite Mark II. Um, it's, it's not just how to make the Satellite Mark II, it's also to show you how to do maneuvers to get into an orbit. After that, make sure you delete the orbit because it just gets in your way and it's annoying. So now what you can do, you can go to like, no sorry, I'm doing it wrong. Right? You can go to Space Center, uh, this dish here, this is Tracking Station. And there you go, there's the Satellite Mark II. So as you see, it's got a very nice orbit around Kerbin, the tiny little planet. Oh my god, can you imagine if we went to the sun? That'd be amazing. Anyway, well, I thank you so much for watching, guys. I've been Tim. Please subscribe for more. Uh, like, favourite, and share to support us. And also, oh my god, this is trippy. <laughs> Um, make sure you comment whatever video you want, kind of, whatever kind of video you want next. So if you want more tutorials, make sure you comment that. Um, I probably will make more because Kerbal Space Program is quite a popular game, but not very many people know how to do it. So that is the Sunlight Mark 2, guys. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.